Hello peoples, today I'm going to be doing a review of my BH Cosmetics um, stuff that I had purchased a while back. I've been meaning to do this review, but every time I'm going to do it, something comes up. So I have nothing to do right now, so I was like, why not? So um, this is just going to be a short one. I had wrote a blog about it, and if you want to see swatches and all that, head on over to my blog. The link is down below, but this is just a going to be a quick, quick review. <laughs> so as you know, I have two palettes from them, the 88 matte palette and the 124th edition palette. Um, out of these two palettes, I love both of them. The, their, the color payoff is super mega gorgeous, and as you know, like I always use these two when doing tutorials. If you've seen past tutorials, anyway, um, they're super amazing. Love the color payoff, and I got these when they were on sale. It was I don't remember what sale, but they always have sales on their stuff, so it's super mega affordable. It is amazing. I love it. If I had money, I totally buy like all the palettes, but broke college student. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so they're super good, super affordable, color payoff is awesome, as you can tell from my look, which I just did from a tutorial, and, like, color payoff is amazing, and the only thing I probably do not like about these palettes is that the glue that holds the eyeshadow isn't very strong, and both of my palettes, I already have two eyeshadows that came loose, and... I mean, they they haven't broke or anything, but like it's just every time I go like to show what color I'm using, they fall out, and that kind of sucks. And shipping is like seven dollars, so you know they you think they would give you a palette that's all well put together. Anyways, other than that, totally amazing. Another thing that from the '88 palette is that I wish the yellow was a lot lot brighter. I don't know, I've always just wanted a really bright yellow. I thought it would be bright, but it is not as bright as I thought it would be. So, moving along to the eyeliners. I have three eyeliners from them. The gel eyeliner in Onyx, the waterproof eyeliner, pencil, and frost, and then their liquid pen eyeliner. This is what the gel eyeliner looks like. And I love it. It's super, it stays on all day. It's budge proof, especially in hot Texas weather when you're sweating. It doesn't go anywhere. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it is not as dark as I would thought it to be. So sometimes I have to go over it in a black um, eyeshadow. And that is probably my only complaint about it. And then the next one, the eyeliner pin. I love it. Same thing. It's Budge proof doesn't go anywhere, stays on all day, which it is like my absolute favorite right now. And no complaints with it, you can draw really thin lines or as thick as you want them to be. It's ha have control over it, and it's amazing. I love it. And the eyeliner pencil, I do not like it at all. This one I had bought just because I thought it was going to I was like, oh, a silver eyeliner. Why not? I want to try it. And I try it. It doesn't stay on my waterline for anything. It doesn't show up for anything. So I thought I could use it as a base. Yeah, putting it on my eyelid hurt. Hurt me. I was like, worst experience ever. I do not like this one. And I can't speak for the, the whole eyeliner pencil collection. Just because this is the only one I've tried. Maybe the other ones are a lot better. But this one, I do not like it. I regret buying it. But at least I know I don't like it. But knowing me, I'm still going to try to find some way to get my money's worth out of this pencil. And then the last things that I bought are the lip glosses. One is in Studious and the other is in 80s Diva. As you can tell this is a really light pink almost. To me it matches my lip color so it's like a nude pink, nudish pink. 
And then this one is a really hot pink. Like, it matches my curtain. I would show you my curtain, but it's too much work. It is t both of them are gorgeous. I have a thing about pink lipsticks, lip glosses. I just love pink. And I love them. The only thing that, well, two things. They don't stay all day, kind of fade. And they kind of have that sticky feel to them, which I kind of really don't like. But I love the color, so I totally overlooked that. And that, and that is it for my tutorial. If you want to see swatches, head on over to my blog. And it's more, I think it's more in detail. I'm not entirely sure. I wrote it like late last night, but I haven't. Yeah. So head over to my blog to check it out, guys. And I hope you guys have a super duper fantastic day. And thank you for watching.